Disadvantaged businesses may have a hard time uh, finding a steady flow of work, but that's changing for those businesses in Monroe. NBC 10's Maya Hudgens is back from talking with Monroe City Development officials on a new administration that helps the city to help. Maya? Jared, as Monroe is planning to develop the community more, they are wanting to use this opportunity to offer work and cheaper insurance requirements to small businesses. Monroe City officials are extending a helping hand to small or disadvantaged businesses to obtain work for the city. It's certainly very gratifying to know that we might help a small business grow in our community. On Tuesday, City Council voted to lower the insurance requirement for DBEs to help with small community development projects in Monroe. The policy went from a million dollars to 300000 so we anticipate then that that premium that they would pay would be significantly less. These small businesses are contracted to work a $14,000 project, but paying $1 million in insurance is almost impossible. When the city has a project, they give the disadvantaged businesses preference. They get the opportunity with most uh, city projects, we set a goal to have a percentage percentage of the work go to those businesses. The percentage can be as low as 2% or as high as 15%. Currently, the city is wanting these businesses to help them on a small housing rehabilitation project. We certainly think of ways to work with more and more people, both in terms of residents who could qualify and come in for the program to get assistance, but then also supporting entrepreneurs. The program has about 10 DBEs, ranging from gravel contractors, construction, and appliance services. But they hope more small businesses will join. With the insurance being less than half a million dollars, some have questioned a liability issue, but officials say it will have a small effect since it's only applied to a small community development. In the studio, Maya Hudgens, NBC 10, you're